The following is a paid political announcement from the campaign to elect Frederick Doyle. Good morning, this is Frederick J. Doyle on October 8th, 2011, announcing my candidacy and speaking to you today to vote for Fred Doyle in the general election on November 8th, 2011. Last week I had talked to you about the Lowell Housing Authority and the city managers interceding on building permits. In front of me I have a complaint that was filed by the Building Commission. The Housing Authority has pulled permits in the past and has paid the appropriate fees. When initially confronted Mr. Dugan with the first violation, he mumbled something to me about having an arrangement. Listen to this. With the previous commissioner, I did not go there. I simply stated you are required under 780 CMIR to obtain a building permit, period. At one point, I instructed my staff not to issue any building and gas permits because to do that kind of plumbing and gas renovation upgrades, the units had to be gutted out and that the interior demolition required a building permit and the housing authority did not have obtained any building permits to do this. A week later, now listen to this lady, a week later, I was instructed by the manager's office through the assistant manager to release the plumbing and gas permits as a sign of good faith. And I also notified the fire department. Now the commissioner goes on to say this, by doing step four before step three and step two before step one, obtaining a building permit the housing authority turned a simple, straightforward process into a major nightmare. I am of the opinion that the architect of record was hired by the Lowell Housing to try to do an end run around obtaining the required building permits, confirming compliance in the general avoid permitting process by confirming the units were inspected by himself, the architect, and therefore in full compliance, at least he says, in the eyes of the housing authority. Then he closes, without a building permit in place that cannot be accomplished, these repairs on these buildings. From my point of view, it's about addressing public safety through enforcement of 780 CMER from Lowell Housing's point of view. It's only about fees, permits, and inconvenience of addressing public safety by the way of following 78 CMR. Let's go one further. The building commission has signed a criminal violation notice to the Lowell Housing Authority to cease and desist operations in that project. June 30 informed them of 2009 of a criminal violation. They didn't apply to that. He sent another one. On September 8, 2009, they did not comply. Now step number two. There was a property on Grove Street also owned by friends of the friends of the manager that the fire department and the building inspector went up and refused the permit to occupy the building. But lo and behold, the manager overruled the fire department, let these people move in. No fire or sprinklers in the system and a lot of code violations. Another favor for the manager. Now we go back to the housing authority again, just a rough sketch of buildings still over there, apartments still with no rough inspections. 12 Fenwick apartment 416, 12 Fenwick Terrace 413, West Adams 117, 360 Adams Street A, 56 Marshall Street, 406 Adams Street, 380 Adams Street, 380 Adams Street again. Ladies and gentlemen, they did not secure the building permits for, the, for those projects because the walls were up. They used metal studding in those walls and the ele electrical grommet wire that goes through them has to have these condensers so if there's a spark, it won't start a fire. Ladies and gentlemen, the fire marshal should come in there and the city council should call a special meeting of the city council and have these buildings inspected by the fire marshal and the State Department of Public Safety. Something is wrong here, and it has to be done. This manager has to be fired. He's doing favors for everybody and his brother. And violating the law, he could care less. If you remember the team, and the team is the chairman of the board of the Lowell Sun, Kendall Wallace. He's stopping this story. The Lowell Sun has this story. They've interviewed people, told them what happened. They refused to write it. Shame on the Lowell Sun, the public safety of these people is at hand. I'm running for this office, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you what I think. You mightn't like it, and I feel bad for it. You don't have to vote for me, but I'm going to say what I want. The First Amendment gives me that right, and this city is going in the wrong direction, and you have to do something to stop it. You have to defeat these seven councils who sit there week after week after week and don't do anything. They call us the common herd. Well, here's one member of the common herd, and they're going to stand for it. And they should fire this manager immediately, and this is Frederick J. Doyle. I'll be back next week, and thank you for listening.